creatine the supplement the older generation or people who aren't into bodybuilding assume to be steroids or inherently bad for you it gets a lot of bad rap so this is a comprehensive vlog on what creatine is who should take it and most importantly is it safe it's one of the most widely researched supplements we have in the world of bodybuilding so we can really go to town on the literature hey maybe even kick your feet back grab your parents and yeah you never know this might even sway them to think it's okay to take. Natalie, what do you think about creatine? Makes you old, mate. No, it doesn't. So let's get into what creatine is. Creatine is a molecule produced by the body in the form of amino acids. It's mainly made in the liver and to the lesser extent in the kidneys and pancreas. It stores high energy phosphorate groups in the form of phosphorocreatine, which are then donated to ADP, regenerating it to ATP, which is the body's fuel. It's the primary energy carrier within the body. In layman's terms, when we are under very high physical or mental stress or activity, ATP will be used. So again, treat ATP like the body's currency. Now creatine can be found in meat and fish, but for the benefits that will be explained shortly, you'll need to saturate phosphocreatine stores. In essence, it's very hard to do this from food alone. We kind of have to use a supplement. So what are the benefits? More workload. So it enables more total workload or volume in a single session. Improved cell signaling. So it can increase satellite cell signaling, which aids in both muscle repair and also new muscle growth. Raised anabolic hormones. Studies know a rise in hormones such as IGF-1, after taking creatine. Increased cell hydration. So it lifts water content within the muscle cells, which causes a cell volumization effect that may play a role in muscle growth. Reduce, reduce protein breakdown. So may increase total muscle mass by reducing muscle breakdown. Lower myostatin levels. Elevated levels of protein myostatin can slowly or completely inhibit new muscle growth and supplementing with creatine can actually reduce these levels, increasing potential new growth. We also have some studies suggesting creatine can improve brain health and reduce neurological disease by increasing phosphocreatine stores in your brain. Now, there are some limited studies suggesting that creatine could mimic caffeine and its ability to increase training performance but right now we don't really know enough to set that in stone or say for definite that is the case the research will no doubt tell us in a few years nonetheless so on this front it helps build muscle and increase brain health i mean that's great jack but what are the side effects because every every action has a reaction so there's got to be a negative here right <laughs> kind of side effects include we'll address the elephant in the room here right off the bat and that is does creatine cause hair loss is this a side effect a 2009 study implicated that creatine supplementation may actually worsen hair loss in this rct rct is randomized controlled trial males given creatine experienced a significant increase in their blood levels of dht an antigen that contributes to hair loss particularly in males now as a caveat 500 studies have been completed on creatine and not a single one can replicate these findings so one out of 500 found this to be a side effect. And whilst this study proved that it didn't really have any statistical flaws or it didn't really have any flaws in the way that it was tested, you have to be a little bit skeptical or raise your eyebrow to the fact that no other study has since replicated that one study. And if you actually dig into the financial situation around this study, it was actually funded by the very person who promotes caffeine shampoo, in essence, a shampoo that tries to reduce hair loss. Next side effect, some cheap or expensive blends such as creatine hydrochloride find side effects such as GI distress or little small red rashes around your body. But if you buy cheap, do you expect the best product in anything in life? No. So 
grab a blend called Crea Pure, which is a high quality blend of creatine monohydrate. And in most studies of creatine monohydrate, you actually find the opposite effect to these side effects. In some studies, it actually reduces cramps, it reduces dehydration, especially in endurance exercise in high heat. So takeaway advice here, buy high quality creatine monohydrate and stick to the recommended dosages and you'll have no harmful side effects. And this brings us on to our next point, which is dosages. As stated earlier, we need to saturate our phosphocreatine cells in order for creatine to give us some of these benefits. Now we can do this either via a loading phase or we can take it daily until our cells are saturated. Now a loading phase is when you take 20 grams per day for around three to five days which would saturate the cells very very quickly and then after that you would take the five grams per day now one of the side effects i mentioned just now was the small red rashes and also the gi distress both of these also occur in the loading phase typically and this is speaking from anecdotal evidence from coaching hundreds of clients it's nearly always from a loading phase and or cheap products the other way you can saturate the cells is by taking just five grams per day. Now it does mean that you are going to be saturated a little bit slower, but it does make you less prone to the side effects. You also don't run out of your tub in the first five days. Hey, look at this. Fitness and economics tips. Well, if you're not subscribed, then I highly recommend you do. But once you are saturated, you'll be reaping the rewards that creatine brings. Another quick tip, if and only if you train for more than five days, days of the week. I can say with pretty high confidence that if you stop taking creatine on rest days, your cells would still be saturated, which again, saves more money because you don't need to take it every single day. Now, I'm not saying you have to do that. You can take it every single day. It's just, you could get away with taking it five times. I've done this for nearly like 10 years and look at me, I'm fine. Also, the timing of creatine doesn't overly matter too much as long as you get your five grams in. All in all, I would highly recommend anyone who is looking to further develop their physique to invest and take creatine. It has limited side effects and way more upside. So yeah, creatine. Now go see if, you're, uh, if your mum would let you buy some. And if she doesn't, hey, she doesn't want a jack son. If you like the start of this vlog, make sure you like, you share to a friend, and of course you subscribe to see more content like this. And of course, I'll see you in the next one.